How y'all doing? Well, I'm gonna show y'all how to make some of the best steak you ever put in your mouth. Some mouth-watering steaks. Okay, first of all, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put oil on them. That's to make sure that the grill flames up and cook them with flame. I hate cooking dry on steaks do they wind up dry. So you put some oil on there so it drips into the charcoal and make a, a blaze. So once I put the oil on there, I'm gonna get my fresh ground pepper and I'm gonna put that on there. Real good. As you can see, I got ribeye steak, one with the bone in and one without. Okay, I did that side. So now I'm gonna take my onion salt and I only use my carmen. And that's the best seasoning you can use on steaks. I got a new bottle here, so I'm gonna take this off. And it's hard to put too much of this. You just shake it on. Put plenty on there. I'm gonna make sure it's good to go. Got a little stick in there. This stuff easily freezes up. You had to keep breaking it up. Okay, I did that side. Now I'm gonna rub it in. Flip it all over. Make sure I get some of that oil on both sides. And do the same thing on this side. Fresh ground pepper, black pepper. And you can put as much as you like on there. And let's cool. Each person had their own taste. And I love black pepper. Put me some more of that onion salt on this side. And trust me, I know it looked like a bunch of salt. But trust me, it's not too much. Okay, that's good enough. So now, while that's sitting there marinating in that, I'm gonna go over here and I'm gonna cut up my ingredients and get that all prepped. Alright, now that I've washed my potatoes, I'm going to cut them all in halves. Alright, now that I've got them in half, I'm going to place them on this aluminum foil. And once I get them on there, I'm gonna put a little salt pepper on them and season them up 
and spray them down with a little paint. My salt is right here. I just put regular salt on them. And some pepper. And I'm gonna spray them with my butter pan, which is right here. To keep them from drying out where they are in there. Cause I'm just gonna put these in the oven at about 350 to 400 degrees and let them be cooking while I'm cooking my steak. And preparing my other toppings for my steak. Okay, now I'm gonna go over and, and clean. I gotta take all this stuff off the top of these baby belly mushrooms, and I'm gonna slice them up and put them on the plate. You got a kind of a sticky feeling to them, so you have to get all that topping off of there. By simply taking them, you go up under the skin like this, and you just rip that off. Rip all that little brown stuff off. You don't want that any food. A lot of people do it, but I don't. Like I said, it's got a slick feeling to it. And then you don't want nothing slick in your food. You might think it's spoiled when it don't be spoiled. Okay, now I got that one done. Cut that little brownness off there. Bless it, put it over there. I'm gonna do the rest like that and then I'm gonna slice them. Okay, I've washed them, peeled this brown stuff off the top, now I'm fixing to slice them. And just simply put them like that. They got beautiful that look already. Beautiful. And take and put these over here. And now I'm gonna take and slice up my bell pepper. Some people don't wash these, but you got to wash them because you're gonna eat the skin side too. So if they get the little button out the hole, slice it in half. Don't cut yourself, be careful, don't cut yourself, keep cutting through. And then you get all this little white stuff out of here. And a little pepper seeds. Put it over there. Okay, now I'm getting ready to peel my onion. And since I'm cooking it with the bell peppers, I'm just gonna put them all on the same dish. And let me show you a good way to try to do an onion. You just go across this head, go another 180 degrees, you go across there, and you just take it and rip that off of there. You rip that half off. Come over here. You rip that half off. You finish it right quick. And then we'll go over here. We just slit it halfway. 
Turn it sideways and start slicing. Make it a little thick. You don't want it too thin, do you? It'll disappear when you... Put that back over there. Now I go prepare my green onion stalks. Cut the tip off of these. And uh, over here, you want to cut the roots off. And if they seem to be a little dirty, you want to pull off the first topping, which I've already done. Didn't quite get that one. Okay. I just start cutting it off. This is what I'm gonna put on top. My baked potatoes. Now we got a little hood that it don't look right. Take it out. And that's that. Now that I got that done, I'm gonna go get my grill started and let it be heating up. Now I've already heated up my oven in there for my baked potatoes. I got it preheating at 400 degrees while I come out here and show y'all how to actually light a grill. A lot of people don't know how to light a grill. Uh, when they wind up, their food ain't cooking right and they wondering why. First of all, you want to pre-soak your charcoal in plenty of lighter fluid. Put plenty of it on. Don't be, don't be ashamed. Normally I would use uh, Kingsford, but I happened to couldn't find one one day. That's all I could find. It's, it's cheap, but it, it's good. It's still good. Okay, now I've soaked the charcoal with fluid. So we're gonna let this wait for five minutes and then we're gonna light it. Now, five minutes up. It's been soaking for five minutes. We're gonna light it. And a lot of people like to put the cup on the grill too early, all this and that. Just let it burn till you see the charcoal turn gray. When they turn gray, and you pretty much good to go. Slide that back in there. Let that sanitize your grill, get it good and hot. So all we gotta do now is wait probably another 10 minutes, five minutes, till that get good and heated up. All the chocolates turn gray. It's good and hot, cause you want it good and hot. So it'll make a fire when that oil that I put on those steaks start leaking into it. So now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go ahead and prepare my toppings for my steak and my potatoes. So when we get the steaks off the grill, they'll be still good and hot. So I go ahead and cut this on high. Put my butt in there, let it melt down. And once it melts, I'll put my onions and bell peppers in there. Go ahead and put these in there. Got my combat ready, wooden spoon. 
This thing been with me about 20, 30 years. And it never failed me yet. Kind of reach in there and break up your onion slices so they'll cook more evenly. They just cook for a minute there. Okay, move some on that. Just a tail. Let it cover that with lid. So we can get some heat going on in there. Cook it a little quicker. Oh yeah. Looking good, looking good. By putting the lid on there, it gathers a little juices. And you don't really want all those juices, that's why you take your lid off for a while. Cut it back when it's already still on high and let it burn off that juice. And by the time we bring that juice off, we ought to be ready to take it off. Put it in a bowl and set it to the side. And now, I take this out. And I go ahead and spray this pan some of this butter pan and then put it right back on there and I'm gonna put my green onions in there and this is gonna be my topping for my baked potato you know you can put anything you want to on your baked potato good bacon this and that but I think we got enough meat we got some nice size steaks and that's good enough I put my lid over here and let that continue cooking. Leave it right there. These cook up pretty fast, so you don't have to worry about it. Some people don't even cook them at all. We're gonna throw a little salt on this. A little bit of pepper. And those are pretty much good to go already. Put my eye off. Now you see how those charcoal look? Good and great. With some fire right there in the middle. So I'm gonna take my wet paper towel and just go across it. Just in case it got a little smut on it from the fire. Take that off. Cause I want burnt marks. I don't want smut marks. So now that's ready. Put that on there. And then I put this one on here. See that all be in that space? You see how that fire raised up right quick from that oil? You got to stay here, you got to keep flipping it. Because you don't keep flipping it, you're going to burn it on one side. Yeah, look at that, look at that. All right. You just got to keep flipping that, baby. Don't never put the top on it. 
you put the top on it, you just messed up all those good steaks. Now, as you can see, my flame trying to die down. We we'll see, I got a little extra oil in there. Put that on there. See how it's flaming back up. That's what you want. You want that flame. Hey, keep that flame going. Let me see what we got. Don't want to burn them. Looking too good to burn them now. Look for that's the best burn. Oh yeah. Yeah, I think it's time to take them out. Hey, one more minute on that side and they coming up over here, baby. I think they can come off. Went on the cream of pan out again. Put them bad boys over in there. Woo, it's a little hot there. And that's, that's a done deal. And check and make sure it's done like I want it to be done. Especially these big ones. Oh, look at that. Just right. Just like that, like that. Get them to check my potatoes. Y'all be ready, baby. Gotta take them and if your knives go into them easily, they are done. Oh yeah. Wonderful. Oh yeah, now I'm gonna take them out. Y'all enjoy. Cause I am. I hope you enjoyed this clip. And if you did, please like and subscribe. And look out for future videos like this. Pops out. Gotta eat.